In the middle, somewhat elevated, I first saw at San Francisco Ballet in 1989, I think it was. It was a long time ago. So the idea of taking classical ballet, this art form that I really loved, and, and throwing it into techno music and into this sense of extreme, extremely relevant and modern and current sort of situation. Now, it is 30 years old. It, it looks like it is, it is new. The challenge is still there. It's still frightening to perform, exhilarating to watch. I love the controversy of it. I would just say you want to go into it with an open mind. The dancing is spectacular. The Four Temperaments is, is I think, one of Balanchine's greatest works. It is a, one of his black and white programs which has the dancers in very minimal costume and has sort of a, a very almost modern classical style. Even though it appears to be among the least complex, it actually is the most exposed because suddenly you're in very little costume and you're presenting incredibly musical choreography and very detailed shape and pattern. And I think that the company, when it performs it again this time, will reach a, a very new level of it. We're very lucky to have Judy Fugate coming in to set it. It's a very exciting ballet to return to. It's one of those pieces that every time I see it or hear the finale, you get the goosebumps. Even just the beginning with the tondus. It's a work that changed dance, and I think it's certainly a piece that belongs in our master's program. Petite Mort is a Yuri Killian ballet, choreographed by Yuri Killian. It's the first one that I saw, that I was like exposed to when I was a lot younger of a dancer. And I just remember with the swords, it starts with um, the guys have, they call them foils. They're like doing this stuff where the swords are in like unison and they're moving all together. And I just was completely like roped in and blown away by it from the first moment it started playing. I'd never seen anything like it. I remember being on stage for the first time with that ballet and experiencing something I never had before. It was like a very transcendent experience. I just remember like completely not being aware of the audience or being aware of the environment of being on stage. Like I was so in the ballet that it kind of transported me out of that place and it was a really, really cool feeling and made me love that ballet even more. Teet Mord and Sextants are a part of Yuri Killian's black and white evening. He did six ballets that were joined together. Teet Mord we've done before. Uh, it is a, a, a sensual and sort of dark, mysterious work, and then that is followed by Sex Tance, which is comic and light and, and, and joyful. Teet Mowat and Sex Tance are both Mozart. Sex Tance is, uh, is a comic ballet. Um, Yuri is very funny. And I feel like it's like the yin to Petit Mort's yang. Like it's sort of, it felt like a very different experience to watch that one. There's you know, a bit of like cheekiness and comedy in it. And it was a lot of fun. And then I think Petite Mort just kind of like, kind of pulls it back into this very intimate place. Mm -hmm.